Hey, 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 what's going on, Facebook, aka YouTube, aka Twitter, whoever the hell you see me at, most majority of the time you're gonna be on YouTube, but I wanted to show you some indicators I've been using lately, and actually they've been almost it's kind of scary, but almost dead on accurate. And you know, I, I obviously like anything else, I've I've done my research, I've been doing my research and just to figure out what works, what can work, what can I do better to, to, to help me on my day trading, whether it be the hourly. Uh, I wouldn't go less than, than, than an hour on this, the tools that I'm using. Um, preferably, I would probably do the four hour, but if you do the hour, it's fine. I mean, I think it'll work, but uh, uh, you can use this on the five minute chart. I try on the five minute chart. It's too fast. The five minute chart is way too fast, and I had a difficult time controlling my trade, and I lost one trade, uh, which means I had to buy higher, you know, not knowing, you know, because I'm not going to be in front of the computer all day. So I was trying to figure out some indications and where I can uh, put my bid order faster. And with, with the Fisher Transform, and the SAR, you're going to know what the hell that means right now, right? The SAR, like, what is the SAR? I never seen that one. He didn't talk about that one. SAR is these dots, as you can see here. And I'll tell you, it is dead, almost dead on accurate. I don't want to say guaranteed. There's no guarantee because you don't know what the market's going to turn out to be. You don't know if a whale is going to come in and sell all their shares. You don't know. So there's no guarantee. But look at what I'm about to show you. For instance, if you knew, right, say you were this, said it, said you didn't, all right, now everything from here forward, forget about it. Let's say you knew here, okay, once this dot started, that means uh, this is called SAR, stop and reverse. This indicates when a trend is going to stop and when it's going to reverse. So stop, reverse, stop, reverse. S reverse stop reverse stop reverse you get the idea okay so let's say you're all uh, you're forget about it over here let's say you're right here and then you started trading you made a little money and then all of a sudden it started you see these dots appear you're like oh shit it's about to sell so what do you do you know you follow the indicator and you sell guess what happens you go from uh, 1936 cents to right about 1844 cents. So you, you, you sold at the right time. And then all of a sudden you see the next dot up here, which is right here. So that's this candle. So 1857. And then it does not appear. Now these, these dots will not appear until here. So you went from 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So you made a bunch of buco money from here to here. Because this dot started appearing here. It's called the SNR, S-A-R, SARS. They call it SAR, but it's called stop and reverse. <clears throat> Willie, Willie J. Jr. Willie J. Jr. is the one that came up with this idea. 19, I want to say 1950 something is when he came up with this idea. I was doing some research, like I said, reading on some shit. I found this chart and the way his analysis is and, and, and the, actually the indicator that he uses, it's actually phenomenal. It works really well with what I'm doing because I'm not trying to stay in trades for a long time, you know? So, and you can switch it. This is the four hour. Look what happens when I switch it to the one hour. I mean, it's literally dead on, okay? So let's say, I it was look, it's no guarantee. Sometimes it's dead off. I want to make sure you guys know that. Let me just open this up just a little bit more so you can see it. Uh, here we go. All right, so here's my trade. This is what I thought it was going to do ahead of time. So now this is me. This is not nothing to do with them. I'm just looking at the previous highs, previous lows, where the where the actual uh, uh, reverse, the support in, in, the, in the actual resistance is. And this is the majority of the line. This is actually a new chart I just created. So if you want to take a look at this, possibly follow it, it's entirely up to you. Uh, again, I am not a professional trader, how they always say. But um, as you can see here, I follow indications. Um, uh, the other day, I went from here to here. I knew it was going to do an S-curve. I just pronounced it early. And I went, you can see, that's why you see the ABC. A, B, C. But it went A. B, 
C. So it did do it. It just did it later than I intentionally intended. But that makes a long story short. I said it was going to hit 2400 It did. I sold. I mean, I bought back in. I sold up here. And I bought back in here. Okay? Because I'm looking at the support line now. I think it's going to hit here. Possibly it might. Possibly it might not. But I sold at 24 just to be, which is right here, which it did sell right at the very tip. Now I'm looking for a reversal, okay? But the the S and R, it's a R, the stop and reverse is telling me that it's gonna be some more sales. So knowing this, knowing where I sold, knowing that I don't have any more of this coin. I mean, yeah, I do have the coin. Actually, I bought it here. I sold it here, and I watched the three dots. That means it's a possibility for it to hit this line here, which was the previous. Uh, resistance line. Now it's it's going to be used as a support line. If it is used as a support line, it reaches this low. You want to put your bid order as soon as a candle closes over this yellow line. If a candle close, if it reaches this low and a candle closes off this over this yellow line, then you buy. Why? Because it's nothing but momentum, and it's going to start hitting. Because now the twenty four cent line is now the support line. This will be the resistance line, the twenty five cents. Why? Did I pick the 25 cent line? If you go back, this was the previous high. Okay, twice, once, twice. Okay, this is the reason why you picked this. You don't want to go here because it passed here. So this is negated. You go from here. Now, if there was another candle here, which is a lot higher, then you don't you negate this and you go with that candle. But you get the idea. Nobody goes too far back. You go too far back, you get lost. You know how that goes. But anyway, make a long story short. Watch for this to accrue. It, it may even go below this. Why? Because it's been below this many times. But I'm considering this a strong uh, res uh, uh, support line because if you look, it broke through it. Broke through it. Right? Tested it a little bit. Broke through it. This guy, this guy just sold a ton. Then it tested, 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 tested. Oh, it's not working. Tested. Broke through it, test it, broke through it, and it's going to test it here, and guess what's going to happen? Bam! And now we're going to see 25 cents and above. Make a long story short, these indicators I use, I love them. It's called SAR. Look at them on tra uh, trading view. Uh, stop and reverse. Stop and reverse. That's what it means, but SAR. And you want to look at the Fisher Transform, because if Fisher Transform, if, you, if you're a, a day trader, hourly Maybe 30 minute, 15 minute trader. I wouldn't go less than 15. Maybe I wouldn't even go less than 30. But you gotta step away from the computer. You don't wanna be here all day. Then you wanna use the Fisher Transform because this will tell you when it's about to turn. Okay, so it'll tell you, okay. See, if you see the gr the red line cross over the green, and again, I've, I showed you this before, but I want you to see it in close. Like this is the Fisher Transform. It, 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 it technically is actually an amazing tool. But as you can see here, all right, it went up. The green was in front. See, the green is here. The green's in front. Red's here. As soon as the red crossed over, as soon as the red crossed over, you should have sold. You see? The green was here. Uh-oh, shit. Red's about to cross. It crossed right here. Guess what you do? You sell. And what happens? Bang, bang, bang. And guess what happens here? Oh, shit. The green... Well, actually, the green didn't cross over just yet. It was still even. The green crossed over here. Am I looking at it right? Yeah, I am looking at it right. Because there was not a, not a lot of volume. There was a lot of, too much volume here, not a lot of volume here. And then the red crossed over here. You look, okay, the green's behind here. The red's in the front. The red's in the front, that means it's about sell moment. So you were sold here. And guess what? It went down. And all of a sudden, the green crossed over here. The green crossed over here, but and it, it, again, it's not guaranteed. The green crossed over here, but nothing really happened. The red crossed over the green within a matter of fucking, I want to say minutes. And then what happens is the green shook over again, and the green crossed over, and guess what happened? It went up. And the red crossed over <coughs> down. <coughs> and then down here, you can see here that when the green crossed over the red, and what happened? A big bump. It's not like I said. The Fisher Transform is not a guarantee, 
but it can help you decide on where to, and especially if you're looking at the volume, you already know. I mean, if, if the green cross over the red and you're over here, then you know it's not 100%. But if you're down to like this area here and the green cross over the red, then you know it's almost guaranteed. Almost. I don't want to say 100% sure, but if, the, if like, like right here, for instance, if you see this, and all of a sudden the green cross over the red, which it did right here. Yeah, it was a little sell off, but there's no guarantee. So this is not where you want to trade. Don't trade here, 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 trade here. Patience is key. If you trade anywhere in next to the zero line, you're going to fucking lose all the time. That's all I want to say over now. Comment below if you like what I'm showing you. If you don't, I won't show it anymore. You get the idea. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Take care now. Bye-bye.